Problem number 22. Find the equation of the line that is parallel to the line x plus 4y equals 8. So we have x plus 4y equals 8 and passes through the point 3 comma negative 1. So 3 comma negative 1. So we're looking for the equation of the line that's parallel to this line and passes through this point. So to find the equation of any line, we need two things, a point and a slope. We've already got the point, we just need the slope. So we're told that our line is parallel to this line. That means the slope of our line is the same as the slope of this line. So step one in this problem is to solve this for y and find the slope of this line. So to solve for y, we'll subtract x from both sides. So we end up with 4y equals, looks like, negative x plus 8. You could also write it as 8 minus x, but this is a little more convenient, right? The goal is to write it in the y equals mx plus b form. So now we'll just divide everything by 4. So divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4, good stuff. So you get y equals, you can write this first piece as negative 1 fourth x, it's the same thing and then plus 2. So now it fits the form, right? It's in the form y equals mx plus b. So the slope of this line is negative 1 fourth. Our line is parallel, so our slope is exactly the same. So in this case, it's negative 1 fourth. If it had said perpendicular, we would flip it and put a negative, so it would have been 4. But it didn't, it says parallel, so it's exactly the same. All right, now we have our x1, comma, y1, and we have our slope, which is m. So we can use the point-slope formula. Recall the point-slope formula is y minus y1 equals m, parentheses, x minus x1. All right, now we just have to plug everything in. So this is y, ooh, minus y1. So y1 is negative 1. Um, there's a minus here already, so it's going to be a plus. So plus 1 equals, and then m is negative 1 over 4, parentheses, and then x minus 3, right? Because x1 is 3, and then y1 is negative 1. So just plug those in very, very carefully. All right, so at this point, we could distribute the negative 1 fourth, um, or we could get rid of the fractions first. Um, hmm, which way to do it? I'll get rid of the fractions first. So to get rid of the fractions, um, or the fraction, we have to get rid of the 4. So I'm going to put a little 4 here, a little, little yellow 4. Put a little 4 here. And then distribute this 4. So 4 times y is 4y. Then 4 times 1 is 4. These little 4s cancel. And we end up with negative parentheses x minus 3. So we have 4y plus 4. And now we can distribute the invisible negative 1 here. So this will be negative x and then plus 3. All right, let's solve for y by subtracting 4. Subtract 4. So we get 4y equals minus x minus 1, right? 3 minus 4 is minus 1. And I guess the last thing to do is divide everything by 4. So divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. So we end up with y equals, again, this piece here can be written as negative 1 fourth x, and then minus 1 over 4. And that should be the final answer. Let's see if it's one of the choices. And yes, yes it is. It's choice B. Good stuff. So the answer to this question is B. I hope this video made sense, and I hope it's been helpful. That's it.